Good morning. This is Saturday, February the 3rd, 2018. Thought I'd get in this devotion early today so that the rest of the day can fall into place. A hymn by Fanny J. Crosby, one of my favorite hymn writers, Redeemed. Redeemed how I love to proclaim it, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, redeemed through his infinite mercy, his child and forever I am. Redeemed, redeemed, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, redeemed, redeemed. His child and forever I am. Redeemed and so happy in Jesus. No language my rapture can tell. I know that the light of his presence with me doth continually dwell. Redeemed, redeemed, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed. Redeemed, his child and forever I am. I think of my blessed Redeemer, I think of him all the day long. I sing, for I cannot be silent, his love is the theme of my song. Redeemed, redeemed, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed, redeemed, his talent forever I am. I love these words and the melody because they're victorious words and a victorious and happy melody. So whatever you're feeling, if you say what is true, what God says about you in his word, and allow that part of you to sing with a melody that cannot be silent, then that will overcome those parts of you that want to be negative. Now reading from Paul David Tripp's New Morning Mercies, a daily gospel devotional. God will not rest from his redemptive work until he has once and for all presided over the funeral of sin and death. If someone asks you, what is God doing right now? What would you answer? I'm afraid that many of us are confused when it comes to the present benefits and activity of Jesus. We get that we have been forgiven, and we understand that we have eternity with him in our future. But we're not sure what the ain't hmm. <laughs> but we're not sure what the agenda is in the here and now. Because we don't understand what God has committed himself to in the present. We are tempted to question his wisdom and doubt his love. Our problem is not that God is inactive or that he has abandoned us, but that we are not on his agenda page. Left with confusion about his plan and carrying with us unrealistic expectations, we get disappointed and a little bit cynical, and we quit running to him for help. It is a bit of a spiritual mess. The answer to the big question we have proposed is really quite easy and straightforward. What is God up to right now? Right. What is God up to right here, right now? Redemption. He is actively working on sin's final defeat and our complete deliverance. He is working out the spoils of the victory that Christ accomplished on the cross of Calvary. Listen to the encouraging words of 1 Corinthians 15, 25 through 26. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. Now, 
you and I need to understand two things in these words that answer our question. What is God doing? First, he is reigning. No, your world is not out of control. No, the bad guys are not going to win. No, sin will not have the final victory. Because your world is not out of control, but under God's careful, redemptive control, you can have hope, even when it looks to you as if darkness is winning the day. What is God doing? This passage gives us a second answer. He is putting the enemies of his redemptive purpose under his feet. He will crush enemy after enemy until the last enemy, death, is defeated. He will not sit down. He will not rest. He will not relent until sin and death are completely defeated and we are finally and forever delivered. Hope right here, right now, doesn't rest in your understanding or strength, but in the sin and death defeating rule of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. His reign is your protection and your future hope. It dawned on me some time ago that when Paul says that we are more than conquerors, that we are so because we have been conquered. Now, there's still areas of our mind, of our heart, of our thinking, of our habits that are yet to be conquered. But be sure of this, the gates of hell that are within us cannot withstand the love of God the Holy Spirit joined to our spirit, breaking down strongholds and taking us in as captive. Thus, we are conquered and therefore more than conquerors. Be redeemed, receive it, believe it, live it in Jesus' name. Amen.